there was a distinct change i had those feelings of oh i want to be the bad girl those feelings went away so hi everyone and welcome to the channel today i'm doing yet another story time i know you guys like my story time and i love it and if you like my story time i want you to give me a thumbs up right now if you've never seen any of our story time you can click that i button that just popped up or look in the description area and see the story times that we've done on this channel and yeah so welcome 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 today's story time is actually one of the most important one of the best story times that i should have shared way back when i don't know why i never shared it but in order for me to share today's story time i have to take you way back way 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 back to when i was little okay so i am the daughter of um, a man and a woman i hope so <laughs> and um i have three brothers and our family is a traditional family is the standard you know mom and dad kids and um our family is very routine and blah 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 but we're also christians so we also always went to church every time we grew up going to church and this is with my friends that i talked to this is kind of like a norm for them too um in nigeria you have two different religions religions relationship religions you have christianity and you have um the muslims that's the major one of course there's also tribalism and all all that stuff like the all that stuff but yeah so i grew up in a christian family and for the longest time ever i've remembered we've always gone to church on sunday it was regular you go to church on sunday and then um in the evening in my house we did devotions every single day it was not like the standard nigerian devotion uh, i tried to do the standard nigerian devotion with my children and um uh, that didn't work out you can see what happened over here and it was just a normal devotion like what i do with my children now where i take a book and um, a devotional book and i just read it and i explain what is in it and we try to have a conversation from it so it was like that so i always said i went to church i always said if somebody said well are you a christian i said yeah i was a christian but i really 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 knew from the bottom of my heart for some reason from when i was little i kind of knew that there was something missing i had and this is something that some people don't know even my parents might not they might be watching it of course my dad and my mom they always watch my videos but i always had this kind of emptiness somewhere i always felt as if maybe no matter how good i did because i was one of those children that i tried to please everybody i tried to be the best child i always felt some kind of emptiness i always felt as if i had to like work so hard for people to like me i have to work so hard for people to appreciate me i have to work so hard for anybody to even know that i existed i felt that way and it might not be that it might not be exactly how it was but everything changed everything changed let me tell you how everything changed so we lived in a place called ita and ita um if you in nigeria it's in Ibadan. it's a place where is a research institute and it's a place where scientists live and they have their children and they we mingle with people from other countries other culture and that's why i'm very sociable that's why i'm very i can relate to people from all over the world so we lived there and went to school and um, my parents decided that they wanted us to go to boarding school now if you want to know more about my boarding school experience you can click that link over there <laughs> i have all that i actually have a story time about my boarding school experience but they wanted me to go to a boarding school but the way the country was situated i didn't gain admission and i was sent to a catholic school and i was sent there for i believe one semester until i gained admission into the boarding school so during that time if you are someone that you lived in a family that was very structured my parents weren't super strict but they were strict to the extent where they want you to realize you know what to do to be the good productive member of the society but they weren't strict to the extent where they're like you gotta do this and do this and do this but they did want us to be the best that we could be so i as a child i always wanted to please my parents i wanted to please my siblings i wanted to please everybody that came in contact with me and sometimes i still do that right <laughs> but yeah so they um 
So they sent me to this school and when I knew I was going to go to Bonnet School, let me be honest with you, I don't think I've ever told anybody this story. So you all are the first. And when they told me I was going to boarding school, I was happy. I was very happy. And why was I happy? I was very happy because I was going to be somewhere different. I was going to meet people. Um, I was a child that was very sheltered. Um, I had a small group of friends and I always stayed with my small group of friends but I was going to meet so many people I was not going to be under my parents roof you know I was not going to be under their roof I was not I was I was going to do whatever I wanted so I told myself when I gained admission I was like ah Shola you know I'm going to be that girl you know when you say that girl I was told myself ah when I get to boarding school hmm, nobody's going to be able to handle me I'll do my yawo Okay, if you are Nigerian and you are Yoruba, you know what someone, if someone said that, ah, Timba Tidebe, my yawo, that means I will be, uh, is it a thug? Is that what they said? <laughs> By the way, I was saying that I was going to be the baddest of, oh yeah, the baddest, I was going to be a baddie. Oh, my children will be like, mommy, please. I was going to be a baddie, I was going to be, oh, I was going to be the girl, I was just going to be slay, I'm just going to be whatever. Knowing surely well that. I wasn't going to be, but it was all mad. I, but I was ready. I said I was gonna do this. I was gonna do that. I was gonna, you know, my parents are not here to tell me what to do. I was gonna. I had plans. I had plans. But the in, the interesting thing was like I started at um, FGC Odogbolu. That was where I went to, and I started there. Made uh, I, I I came in. I believe it was beginning of May. Okay, beginning of May, nineteen eighty-eight. Okay. Um, and that was years ago. Many of you were not born then. But I, I started there and the first time when I entered, bah, I'm like, she has arrived. I had to get reconnected because a lot of my classmates have already started school. So now everybody has already started. You know when you start school late, you everybody has formed their cliques already. So once again, I was solo. I was, I've always been solo my life. I have three brothers. I've always been solo. So I was like, hmm. So I'm trying to be the bad girl. Can you guys believe what happened? On the next day, yes, I think I arrived on the 7th, then the 8th. Someone, one young lady, I know her name and I'm so thankful for her. Her name was Fumi. I'm not going to say her last name. Her name was Fumi. And she came to me. I remember I was in the laundry room in the boarding school. And she came to me and she said something like, I know this is not exactly what she said, but it kind of seemed like, she's like, do you know him? I'm like... I don't know. She's like, have you saved? I'm like, ah, which one is this? Are you saved? I don't, I said, I don't understand what you're saying. She's like, something like, have you always felt like something was missing? You know, just, she just started talking to me about Jesus and everything. And I'm like, wait a minute. It is not that I don't know Jesus because I went to Sunday school. I went to all that stuff. It's not that I don't know Jesus. It's not that I don't no rights from wrong it's not that but she's like have you ever given your life to christ and i'm like out of the blue there seemed to be a calmness that just came upon me and i'm not exaggerating and it just came upon me like you know what you have to do you know what you have to do i just started crying i just started crying because i knew that depend regardless of what i wanted to do in my life regardless of who i wanted to be regardless of what i wanted to be the baddest of the baddest i knew that there was some a space in me that I really needed to fill i knew that now that day may 8th 1988 i became a christian i was a i, I went to church but that is when i became a christian going to church every day you know doing the ritual Singing, going to Sunday school, all that stuff doesn't make you a Christian. What makes you a Christian is when you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Let me tell you something. So Romans 10, 9 is something that this is what makes you a Christian. If you declare with your mouth, says the Lord, that the Lord, you know, you declare with your mouth that Lord Jesus is Lord. So all that, all you have to do is say Jesus is Lord. And you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Then you are saved. So for me, being a Christian when I was little, I'm going to doing devotion, going to church with my parents, being the goody two-shoe, that doesn't make me a Christian. That's just like, psh, God said that that's like filthy rags. You know, it's like all our righteousness. That's just psh, until I said Jesus is Lord. There was a distinct change. I had those feelings of, oh, I want to be the bad girl, those feelings went away. 
Now, does that make does that mean that throughout my life, since I was since 1988, I believe I was 12 years old then. Since that time, have I always been good? No. Since that time, I've done some things that are bad, 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 bad. Some things that you guys will be like, oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> I've done them, but does that take away from me saying I'm a Christian? Does that take away from me meeting him? Does that take away from the experience that I had when I met him? No, it doesn't take away from the experience that I have. Because it's like whenever you sin, whenever you do something bad, you know, and you're a Christian, what God sees is they see Jesus on the cross. As long as you can confess and say, God, I'm so sorry what I did. I did that thing that was wrong. Please forgive me. And that's it. Now, if you're a Christian or if you're not a Christian and you relate to this story, comment below. Let me know. Tell me your experience. Tell me your testimony. If you're not a Christian and you're like, girl, forget this. That's between you and God. My thing is this. I People say, what church do you belong to? Do you belong to Anglican? Are you a Catholic? Are you a charismatic whatever? Are you a this whatever? Are you a Baptist? Are you a whatever? No, I am not. I am a Christian. I just have a relationship with him. That is it. My own thing is, I will, if I never even step into church, to me, that's still okay. It's just that I have a relationship with him. It's very important for people to realize that your relationship with God is your relationship with God. Your relationship with God is not because your pastor said or this pastor said you should do this and that and that and that that's your relationship with god no your relationship with god is your relationship with god so do it your own way study the bible learn what it says you know follow it you don't need to go to somebody to pray to them to help you solve a problem i hate that thing you can open up your mouth and you can pray to God. You don't need to judge somebody else's way of worshipping God and say that's not the right way until they go to your church or until they follow the way you follow, until they read this thing. That is their own relationship. I do not judge anybody. I have friends that are Muslims. I have Jewish friends. I have friends that are atheists and I have friends that are, you know, gay, bi, everything. But do I condemn them for their choice in life? No, I don't. I say your relationship, the time that you will become a Christian is your own time. Your relationship with God is your relationship with God. If you choose not to be a Christian, it's your, that's your own, you know. But this is my story. This is how I met the most amazing, amazing man ever. Even though my husband thinks he is. Boy, bye. No, this is how I met Jesus, okay. And if I have a platform and I cannot share that with you all, I'm doing a disservice to y'all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. If you love this, comment below and share your experience with me. Feel free to share this video if you like it. And we'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.